which we thought we'd share with you, which we thought we would ask Tyler Stevenson about as we visit with him on this morning, who is there early at Goodyear, Arizona, reporting early for Reds camp. Tyler, good morning. Good morning. How are y'all? We're doing great. Uh, you made the decision to get there real early, huh? That That's all optional on your part, I take it. Yeah. Um, so my wife actually ended up stopping work in August. So it's been great that we've actually been able to spend time together. Um, we love it out in Arizona. So we're like, why not just get out here early? And I just wanted to make sure everything was okay, like especially coming back from my surgery. Uh, yeah. yeah. Why not come out early and get her home? Yeah, I want to talk about that with you. And we, we want to get to the necklace <clears throat> too. Uh, but, you, you know, the, it was kind of a lost year for you after the foul tip. Uh, and the surgery, where are you in, in the rehab process and, uh, and how's it gone for you? Yeah, um, it was unfortunate. Third batter after the All-Star break. Uh, I know I kind of battled some things earlier in the season with the concussion and then broken thumb. So you're looking forward, you take that little All-Star break, you're like, all right, we can at least finish out the second half of the season, be healthy. And then sure enough, third batter, Cole Schmidt, swing and bunt. Um, well, the foul ball happened, and I think from that impact, it was fractured. Um, and then when I went up to throw, I felt the break. Um, yeah, it was most pain I've ever, <laughs> ever been in. Um, and then had surgery not too long after. And um, I've been really full go since Thanksgiving. That's kind of how we kind of built up the progression, and I've been doing stuff ever since. You know, Tyler, I was just thinking, I, I grew up, I didn't have any grandparents, but in my dreams, I always thought I'd have a relationship with my grandparents <laughs> like you had with your grandfather. His favorite word was enjoy. Um, baseball's a very yeah. hard game. Are you still enjoying it? You, you have to. Um, and if I never, if I don't enjoy it, then obviously something's wrong. Um, but yeah, we grew up uh, in Kennesaw, Georgia. Uh, we're a super close family. My cousins, we all went to high school. Together. My grandparents lived not too far. Uh, so we're always doing stuff together. And no matter what, like we ended up getting these shirts made that said the word enjoy. And it's just become a family motto of ours. Hey, what's it like, Tyler, when you get to camp and there's optimism everywhere? I know that. But um, uh, when their experts are having discussions about your division, about the NL Central, it, it seems to include only, you know, St. Louis, Milwaukee, and maybe the Cubs. Uh, the Reds, the Pirates in kind of rebuild mode. Give us some reasons why the Reds could catch some people by surprise this year. I know last year we had a record number of guys get hurt. Um, so I think the big thing going into this year is just being healthy. Like if we can have our core guys and people be healthy throughout the season. And if you feel like most teams are like that at the end of the season, like the teams that are the healthiest usually play the best. Um, so I think that's a big thing going forward is just being healthy. And, uh, we're young. We've got a bunch of young core guys coming, uh, and they've done a great job. I know with some of the trades, like the huge prospect, De La, De La Cruz and uh, Marte, who we got from Castillo, like those guys are going to be here pretty soon and heard a lot of good things about them. I'm excited to see them at camp for the first time. Um, so we're coming, we're young, and we've, we've got some future stars coming. You know, Tyler, your manager, David Bell, said uh, one of the reasons you have a chance, uh, your team, to really improve is to have you in the lineup 140 to 150 games. That might mean uh, less catching for you and more DHing and more first base. Um, how's that sound to you? Yeah, that, that's a conversation that we had uh, kind of at the beginning of the offseason. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've got a great relationship with Casale, who we signed. and We are together parts of that 2020 season. Uh, he's an unbelievable guy. And then Luke, uh, I've heard really good things about. There's a kid I worked out who was with Fleet last year, and he was like, you're going to love him. Um, so I'm excited to get to work with them and for them to be with the pitching staff, like with our core three starters. Uh, it's going to be huge. And, uh, and I'm excited. I mean, the more at bats, the better. And I know I might not catch as much, but um, I'm obviously willing to do that with the DH play for whatever, whatever that situation looks like. I know Joey's health is a big thing. So we're trying to wait to kind of see um, how he is when he gets here. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, one of as many at bats possible. So it'll work out. Well, you mentioned Joey Votto. I, I was just thinking, uh, what an avenue to go to, to to talk about hitting. But I have a feeling talking to Joey about hitting is probably like talking to Einstein about physics. Uh, it must be difficult <laughs> okay. at times. No. So, man, it, it's crazy. Uh, 
I mean, I, I grew up watching him on TV. Like it, it's, it's crazy how it's all kind of together. Uh, he's one of my best friends on the team now. Uh, he came to my wedding and we sit next to each other on the plane. Uh, he, he's an unbelievable guy uh, to kind of be front row seats and being able to be around him every day and just to learn from the knowledge and the experiences that he's had in this game. Uh, there's, there's a reason he's as good as he is. And I think he should be in the Hall of Fame at some point. Uh, so I'm excited uh, to be with him. And I know hopefully this isn't his last year, but uh, he's had a tremendous career no matter what. There are a lot of people that agree with you on that Hall of Fame thing. I know J.P. Morosi will vote for him, as well as about 75 mm -hmm. other guys next time he has a ballot in his hands. Yeah. Uh, hey, I want to ask you this, Tyler, because Cincinnati has always been a Reds town. It's always going to be a Reds town. But the Bengals have got a lot of heat. Uh, and, and, and I guess there's a code share. There's a, a friendly vibe. Here you are with Joe Burrow. When was this photo taken? Yeah, um... So that was opening day of last year. Uh, him, T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, and Zach Taylor all came out and had to kind of represent. So it all. So there's kind of like a backstory with it. Um, Jr., who's our catching coach, uh, every spring training we have uh, like a saying or like a motto of what the spring is going to be. in last year was QB one because that was kind of my first year being a starter, kind of taking kind of control, and it was fitting with obviously the whole Burrow situation. Um, so we actually, Indy and I, we made it to the Super Bowl last year. Uh, so we almost witnessed it. It was close. Uh, but Cincinnati fans are unlike anything. They're incredible. Uh, to see the support that they've had for the Bengals, I know they struggled for a long time. And to, for them to be as good as they are now, uh, the city is electric, and it's, it's a fun spot. Good times. Yeah, good times uh, in the Queen City, as they call it, uh, for some okay. reason. I'm not sure why. Do you know why Cincinnati is the Queen City? I'm putting you on the spot here. Man, I don't know. I'm going to have some backlash. Uh, I do not. No, we don't either. I mean, we're the ones that are supposed to know that. Know. We'll, yeah. You know what? We'll figure it out and we'll get it to you so you can use it on, on opening Perfect. day. They'll, they'll love you go. in the Rhineland. Way to go. Yes. Uh, hey, thanks for joining us, Tyler. We appreciate the time. Glad you're healthy and out there early at camp, and we look forward to seeing you during the season.